Okay. Who are we here with? Kate. Is there anyone you want to confess your love to today? There actually, there's actually someone over there. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! No! <laughs> Everybody, I'm here with Mr. Jacobs. And today you'll be answering who's your Valentine? Uh, my Valentine is probably. Well, can I have two? You have as many as you Probably want. My dear mother and dear father. Mm -hmm. uh, we hung out and we watched the Super Bowl. And I left a, a dirty pan of mac and cheese in the uh, sink. And for them cleaning it, I am deeply indebted to them. Probably for the rest of my life. Something I would do as well. Mm. Um, when do you think is the right time to say I love you? It's kind of a loaded question. But um, personally, I think that... You know, when we talk about relationship, we always measure things in terms of time, right? Oh, I've been seeing X and Y person for however long. I think that's kind of like uh, an intrinsically defined kind of thing. Like me personally, I would never say it. I would never even say it at all. I don't believe in love, right? Uh, I would never tell that to my mother or father. <laughs> Uh, you know, after yeah, know whenever you someone yeah. feels comfortable saying I love you, you know, 100%. We're here with Miss Epstein. Like I said, she's always asking to be in the videos, but we never catch her on time. So I have a few questions. Who's your Valentine? My Valentine is my boyfriend Jordan. Also, my dog Snickers, but my boyfriend Jordan's my actual Valentine. Do you have any messages for them? Jordan? I love you. My students all know about you and they all love you just as much. And I'm so excited to spend Valentine's Day with you and celebrate our year and a half on Saturday. And Snickers, I love you too, but you're not watching this. Thank you, Miss Epstein. Thanks, Amaya. So it's, I'm here with Moko. And today I'll be asking, what is a must play song for Valentine's Day? Um, I'm not really too sure, but. An artist, I would say, is um, Lil Teacher or A Buggy. I know there's a lot of people listening that might agree to that. And a second question, who are you taking to the BLSU dance? Um, unfortunately, I'm not taking anyone. I'm one of the presidents, so I just have to go and like supervise and make sure everything is going smoothly, so yeah. And just a brief moment here. As you can see, we're uh, selling tickets for $5. Oh. <laughs> No, you. Hello to our principal as well. Hi, Miss Perez. Hi. Hello. Can we um, go the elevator? No, we're just promoting our oh. the dance. Yeah, the dance. Yeah. Do you want to answer a quick question? Everyone should come to the dance. I'm coming, so you should too. All right, we're here with Mr. Sparrow. So I have a few questions for you. So, when do you think is the right time to say I love you? Hmm. Right now. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think you mean in a relationship? Um, that's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. Oh, uh, there's no, there's no solid answer here. I think you, yeah, you, you gotta go with when, when it's gonna be requited, like when it's gonna come back, right? Just for your own ego, because you don't wanna, you don't wanna be left hanging. Go with the "I love you" and then it's not returned. But then you don't want to miss that opportunity either. So that, that's the trick. I mean, yeah, there's no firm deadline, but I would say probably on average, you're probably gonna wait six weeks to two months before this comes up, but it could be quite a bit longer. All right, and who would you rather take to the BLSU dance? George Washington or Abraham Lincoln? Oh, that's easy. Honest Abe. <laughs> Why would you say that? Well, I mean, George Washington is a very important founding father, but Abraham Lincoln is the one that shepherded the U.S. through the Civil War um, and at least started to put an emphasis on genuine civic equality across races. So that's kind of big. All right, thank you. We are here with Ms. Killich, Ms. Shum. Who would you guys rather take to the BLSU dance, hydrogen or helium? I would definitely take hydrogen. Hydrogen. And why is that? Because helium is a noble gas, and noble gases do not react with any other elements. 
hydrogen is really important, right? You can have hydrogen fuels, like hydrogen is the future. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, we are here with Ruby, Melanie, Elsa. Who would you guys rather take to the BLSU dance, Harry Styles or mm. Rihanna? Mm, mm. Wow. Okay, ha mm. <laughs> Harry, Harry, just because I feel like Rihanna would like show up my outfit. Yeah. Strategical. Um, personally, I'm a big Rihanna fan, so I'd go with Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> and do you guys have any Valentines this year? You're, you're looking <laughs> at her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Explain. <laughs> you want to say anything? Yeah. We're told we have an amazing connection. Oh, you two. No. You two. Look out for us in the 2023 Best Couple of the Year yearbook page. Okay. Seeing us. Yeah. And some trivia. When do you guys think Sweethearts first got their shape? First got their shape? Mm -hmm. um, 1964. 1953. I was going to say that. 1952. <laughs> no. You're closest. 1901. Even though you're very off, but close. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready. Okay. We're here with Kaya, Isha, Michael. Do you guys look forward to or dread Valentine's Day each year? Um, I've had nothing to look forward to recently, so I guess I dread it. Yeah, I don't really have a lover this year, so <laughs> dreading. Yeah, it depends on the year, but this year I'm definitely dreading it. So. Um, and would you guys rather take Harry Styles or Beyonce to the dance? Um. Beyonce, um, definitely not Harry Styles. I think his hairline has receded way too far. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, for him to be a candidate, but Beyonce. Yeah, hundred percent Beyonce. And when do you guys think is the right time to say I love you? Definitely not. Um, like three months. <laughs> yeah, like a good three months. Never, because love is fake. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're here with Miss Chow. Do you have any plans for Valentine's? Um, not really. I'm gonna cook dinner and or maybe go out to eat, but depending on like what time. And when when do you think it's the right time to say I love you? Every day. You should say I love you every day to people you love. <laughs> All right, thank you, Michelle. Okay, who are we here with? Kate. Mira. Um, who's your Valentine this year? My bad, or my fellow. Oh my god, it's the same. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my dog. What's your dog's name? Bruno. What type of dog? He's a mutt, but he's like half corgi, half chihuahua, like so many things. Yeah, I love dogs. Um, what is a must play song for Valentine's Day? Um, glue song, Beba Doobie, coming out tomorrow. Wow. Um, love song, Rihanna. Rihanna, how did you think her performance yesterday was? So Too good. good. It was so good. Okay, I have some trivia. Um, what brain chemical is known as the cuddle or love hormone? Sorry. If you guys don't know this. Serotonin? No. Dopamine? Dopamine? Oxytocin. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, I have one more for redemption. Um, what state produces most of America's red roses? Oh. Sun, sunshine. Cal California. Good job. What were you going to say? I was going to say Texas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Today I'll be asking, what is a must play song for Valentine's Day? Are You Mine by Arctic Monkeys. Lovers Rock by TV Girl. And is there anybody that you want to confess your love to on camera? No. I'm confessing my love to Val. Okay, fine. You can. <laughs> I love you. You I should marry me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And, wh and what, were, what were you guys' name again? I'm Hiba. And I'm Val. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so who are we here with? Diana DeRico. Who's your Valentine this year? Luis Morales, my husband. And when do you think is the right time to say I love you? When you feel ready and that it's true for you and when you feel safe enough to share that with the other person. Agreed. And what is a must-read book? for Valentine's Day? It's a really hard question. Um, the first book that came to mind was If Beale Street Could Talk, because um, I love the relationship between the characters in that story. But I was also just thinking about Pablo Neruda's poetry in general, because he's my favorite poet of love. Um, so Neruda, all the way. Okay, I'm going to trivia question, okay? okay? Oh, oh, trivia. Um, 
What brain chemical is known as the cuddle or love hormone? Serotonin? No. Guess again. Pheromones? No. <laughs> Oxytocin. Oh, I never would have guessed People that. People aren't getting that. I wouldn't have known that. Okay, I don't thank teach you. chemistry. <laughs> thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Who are we saying Happy Valentine's Day to? To all my students, staff, my family, my um, friends. So, speaking of Valentine's Day, okay, wait, we're here with Mr. Jonas, by the way. When do you think it's the right time to say I love you? When, 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 when you feel like you love the person. You mean in terms of relationship or just, I, I say I love you all the time. Like anytime I'm talking to my sisters, I have five sisters, and we come off the phone, I love you. I'm the complete opposite, like I'm so awkward. I can never say I love you to people. Really? Yeah. Do you say it in other ways? I don't know. Okay, and I have a fun question. I don't know if it's gonna make sense, but would you rather take the T score or the Z score to the BLSU dance? You know what? I'll take the T score because the T score is <laughs> the T score is usually when the population standard deviation is absent. So the T score doesn't have a population Got standard it, yeah. deviation. So I will just you know maybe the T score is a little lonely. Mm -hmm. So I, I would take the T score. Okay. Thank you so much. I, yeah. I, I like Z-score better, I think. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 you could take both. Yeah, I could take both. Double, triple date? Why not? I don't want anyone to miss the Valentine's Day. Thank you so much. This was fun. This Thank was you. Fun. Yes. Okay. Who are we here with? Uh, Uday Shagrawal, 11th grade. I have a couple questions for you for Valentine's Day. So the first one is, what is your love language? Uh, I'd say, like showing that they have interest in me, like devotion of time, right. And the other one, probably physical love, like physical touch. Do you have a valentine this year? No. No. Is there not anyone you want to confess your love to on camera? Uh, not here. In India, I did have one, but I, but I confessed to her and I lost feelings. So, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Explain to us. So, so she was my best friend, right? Uh. <laughs> she was my best friend, right? So, I had feelings for her. I had a crush on her. I asked her if she could come over for a second, mm -hmm. right? I told her to sit down because this might be shocking. <laughs> I so um. <laughs> so what, I what happened? What'd she say? So I told her, um, listen, I know this might come as very shocking and very sudden, but I have feelings for you. <laughs> so, her name is Navya. N-A-V-Y. Can we get a photo? I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. I called her... Like, okay, get a zoom in. Get I, a zoom in. I called her like an Indian equivalent of dumpling. Okay. Dumpling? Yeah. I, I mean, it was supposed to be kind of like a fun insult, but it, it so you know, no new love interests. But what happened? What did she say? <laughs> she, <laughs> we didn't like after I confessed to her on our way home. She didn't say anything whatsoever. Right? Shocker. But but then when he, when we got off the cab, she was like, she was like, listen, I know this was very sudden and I still can't believe it, but let's just be friends. Okay, sure. This went better than expected. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're gonna go now. That was perfectly good. Bloopers. Okay. That's cute. She's like, she's just like, okay, yeah. whatever. <laughs> hey, hi. Uh, um, can we please? Sorry, I got no. <laughs> Mira. Oh my God, no, you're gonna be a side profile. I'm not <laughs> gonna be teaching atomic structure <laughs> units here. No, play. Is it is it recording? No, 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 come, come, come. We are very popular, as you can see here. We have a list of people who are waiting. Sorry. Did you delete that? Are you getting this? Take two. What are we, what, what are, are we saying? Okay, we're here with... Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Ooh, this is fancy. Odisha? No, what's her name? Oh, uh... <laughs> oh. 
Can I redo this? I feel like this is so awkward. <laughs> I gotta do a take two. Oh my God. They're not his students. I can't say that. <laughs> redo this. Take three. Like he's gonna be all touchy feely, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? You got them on camera, right? Okay, so who are we here with? I'm here with Kate. Wait. <laughs> I'm always here with Kate. <laughs> okay, okay. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. 